In this problem, the order is for 0.5 or half a gram of ampicillin POQ six hours. In stock is this medication in capsule form labeled 250 milligrams. How many capsules would you give? The goal is to answer the question, which is asking for this order in capsules. To solve this problem, we'll use multidimensional analysis and begin with the doctor's order. In addition to the quantity, the additional order states here PO, which stands for by mouth Q six hours, which is every six hours. The doctor's order Four-dimensional analysis will be expressed as a fraction shown here with a denominator of 1 for an equivalent value. The problem gives us a relationship between capsules and milligrams. And our order starts in grams. We will need to create a preliminary conversion from the current order of grams into milligrams so that we can then move forward to convert it into the final answer of capsules. To do so, we need to create a conversion factor fraction so that the gram, the current order quantity, is canceled out. That means the gram will be in the denominator. A relationship between gram and milligram using metric prefixes, we place a 1 on gram since it's the larger quantity and remembering the prefixes, each prefix in the metric values has a value of 10. There are three places between the base unit of gram and milligram, which three tens, 10 times 10 times 10, gives us the 1,000 milligrams. Taking equivalent values and expressing them in fractional form with one value in this case, the denominator, and an equivalent value in the numerator, gives us an overall value of 1. Multiplying by 1 does not change a value, but here will allow us to convert from one unit to the other. When multiplying, if we have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator, we can cancel them out since gram divided by gram is equal to 1. We now have our order in milligrams. Our goal is capsules, so we need one more conversion factor, and we can use the information supplied in the problem. We need to create our conversion fraction so that the milligrams now cancel out. Since our order is currently in milligrams, we'll place milligram in the denominator for this next conversion fraction. Using the information supplied in the problem, where 250 milligrams is equivalent to one capsule, we'll arrange this for our conversion fraction, which will allow us to cancel out the milligram in the numerator and the denominator, since they have a value of 1. Next, we will multiply these three fractions together, and to do so, we multiply numerators together for the new numerator, multiply denominators together for the new denominator. The remaining unit is capsule, that was the goal, and one last step, we'll do the indicated division. The numerator 500 divided by the denominator 250 gives us a final answer of two capsules for this order.